like a mirror. So it doesn't, it isn't sprayed on and then just left. It, it's, it's got a lot of process that it goes through. On this piano, it's built up with lacquer. It's probably got the equivalent of 20 coats of lacquer. Uh, and every five coats or so, they sand it down and, and build again. And then on the final, the final coat, they will wet sand it down and they'll start with like 800 grit, which is really fine. And then they'll finish up with 1,000 grit. And then they'll rub it out. Go ahead, Cam. When they sand it down between coats, the purpose of sanding it down, is that to make sure it's a level or to... Yeah, it's just to level it out. Bite. Level it out. Because right. it'll build up. And... You want to build up. Well... Uh, if if you just continue to coat it, it would it would it would uh, get it would get a, a orange peel look to it, you know. Which is good. so. What you're doing is you're 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 cutting it flat. You're cutting the finish flat, and you're also lacquer shrinks as it dries, and it shrinks into the grain. And so even though this has got wood filler in the grain. It's still going to shrink down into the grain, so that it, it you 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 put like five coats on and block it out smooth. You put five more on, and it'll shrink down into the grain a little bit, so you block it out smooth. You know, sand it out smooth. But the final the final rub is with like 800, and then thousand grit, and then this is rubbed out with pumice and water. And, and then sometimes they use pumice and oil. And pumice is, this is pumice. It's like Ajax, only it's real, real fine. <laughs> and what it does is it actually cut, it, it actually scratches the surface. And that's what makes it, that's what makes it sad. So if you have a piano that's, that's, uh, rubbed out with pumice and water, and you put oil on it to, to care for it, you're going to end up with a blotchy mess because it was just water, you know, that was... So, what I recommend for just cleaning a satin rub finish is to use a chamois. And I brought a, I brought a chamois along. An automotive chamois. And this is, this is, I don't know, has everybody used a chamois? They're, they're used on your car as a final wipe. And the beauty of it is it doesn't leave any watermarks. You know, when you wash your car? Use it to clean your glasses. I don't think you know. I my my optometrist, the guy I get my glasses from. I guess he's an optometrist. He he says not to really rub your glasses. That you take it and you you take a drop of Dawn or something like that and wash it and use your fingertips. I think that might scratch it if there's some grit in it. But if you get a fingerprint on the side of the piano, you could just take the chamois and just wipe it and it'll take it off and this, this needs to be you want to make sure you get all the water out of it one of the problems with using a, a cloth is that you can't you're going to end up with some water marks on there if you use the chamois it's just great is that just plain water? Hmm? Plain water or yes? Yeah, it's just plain water. Mm -hmm. Just, you want to, when you get the chamois, you want to soak it in warm water and, and squeeze it out, do, and then get rid of the water and do it a couple of times because there's a, there's like a uh, detergent in the, in the chamois. Yeah, so make sure you clean the chamois. But this, and then you can go over, what I recommend people use rather than a cloth, is I use Viva towels. 
there, you can buy them at any uh, supermarket, and they're they're like they've got the same consistency as as uh, washed flannel. They're in fact. Here, I'll pass one around. They're uh, and I don't have any stock in the company, but <laughs> Viva towels are great. Viva, V I V A. And then you could just you could wipe it off with a Viva towel. They had them at Costco a few weeks ago. What's that? They had the Viva towels at Costco. Oh, they got them everywhere. Yeah, you can get. Yeah, yeah, you can get them anywhere. But they're great. They're just absolutely. The beauty of this is that you're taking a clean one off the roll, and there's no grit in it. And one of the big problems with having uh, a cotton rag is that. You can get grit in it, and you go to wipe the piano, and you've scratched it. You know, this is a, a safe way to do it. Uh, can I ask you a question? Yes. Does what you just said, does that apply to a regular polyester satin finish? Well? If it's, if it's, it's hand-rubbed, you can do the same thing with it. And, then, and that's, I, I'm glad we've got this piano here. This is satin spray, and it, you know, when we get through, you can come over and take a look at this. There's no rub marks in this. This is just spray, and, it, and that's it. And this one, you could, you could use the chamois on it, but uh, you, would, you, would, you, you don't want to do too much rubbing on it because you'll put streaks in it. So probably the best thing would be like, if you want to get, get rid of a fingerprint, you could use the the Viva towel and and soak it and rinse it out. Use that wet and then follow it with the dry one. But I guess I guess basically on a piano like this, you don't want you don't want to put any oils on it. Uh, you you can clean it with a minimal amount of material, water, if you get real greasy fingerprints, you can use a solution of water, 50% water and vinegar. And that'll cut the, the film from the, from the finger marks. Um, other than that... Any kind of vinegar? Yeah, white vinegar. White vinegar. Yeah, the cheapest, you know. And 50% water, 50% vinegar. And that'll clean the fingerprints. But you want to remember that if you if you get if you don't use the chamois on it, you're going to have some water watermark. So you got to keep you got to keep going with it. In other words, you wipe with a damp cloth, you come back with a dry cloth, and then you're going to have to come back again and get rid of the watermarks. What about just dust? Getting rid of dust. Oh, you know what? I didn't bring in. I've got a micro a micro cloth that you can buy that attracts uh, dust. That's just great for use on a piano, just dry dust. In fact, I'll, I'll go get one later and bring it in so you can see it. But uh, you can buy it with it. Is that a microfiber? Um, this is quite a level down from sine wave to, I just got an old piano. Okay. It's built in the 1930s, it's called okay. Lancaster. And it's just wood, flat finish. So what do I do to get luster on that? To clean that up with scratches on it. I'm just well, you know that's one of that's one of the one of the things I brought some of this in, and you can buy this in any old English. Old English, and it's scratch cover. This is called scratch cover. All right. If you've got like something like this table, you know, a finish that's 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 uh, a natural wood finish, yeah. and it's got some scratches. Yeah. What you do with the old English is, uh, or what I do, is I've got a coffee can and I saturate a cotton cloth with, with the oil and then I keep it sealed. And, and what you do with the old English is go over the whole thing, get it wet. Just, to, just continue to go over the whole piano and then come back and, and dry it off with clean cloth and then follow it, after you've got it all dried off, follow it with a damp cloth. And the damp cloth 
will even, because it's going to be blotchy looking, it's going to have shiny spots where the oil is. If you use a damp cloth on it, follow it with a dry cloth, you could even use the chamois. And, and you'll end up with a satin even finish. And the oil will get, the oil that's in there, it's got paraffin oil in it. And the paraffin oil will rejuvenate the finish. You know, it'll, it, I wouldn't use any of the things that are on the market for rejuvenating. I would just use an oil, you know, a bottled oil. Which brings us to another, another subject and probably my, my main campaign and reason for doing a class like this is to tell everybody to please not use pledge. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, is that, does anybody use pledge on their piano? No, nobody. Well, you're all great then, but I wanna, I'm gonna tell you why you don't wanna use pledge. Pledge is, pledge is, is a product that's been out since the 50s, and pledge in a spray can, you put it on the top and you wipe, you wipe it off and it's beautiful. The, the, it makes it, it, gives it a nice, glossy luster, it's, it's a fabulous look to it, but Pledge is full of silicone, and the silicone is what makes it glossy looking. But silicone also, on a lacquer finish, it will deteriorate the finish, it will soften the finish, and the silicone actually goes through the finish and into the wood. and 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 it stays in the wood. There's no way you can get it out of the wood. One of the things that happens is if we're gonna refinish a piece of furniture or a piano, we strip it down and to the bare wood and, and sand it and, and start over again. There's nothing that will get the silicone out of the wood. What happens is if you go to put the finish back onto the wood, it doesn't want to adhere. The silicone makes it bird's eye. It makes it, and it's a, it was a, it's an absolute nightmare for a finisher. It, it'll make little pits all over the whole thing. One, one of the, one of the ways that you can deal with it is not put a wet coat on the, on the finish. You can fog a coat and build it up and then you can go back and put a wet coat on and it won't fish eye as bad as, but and then the other thing that they've done in the industry is actually add a certain amount of silicone to the lacquer that you're using. And th th there's only a small amount that you can use. And that will make the lacquer flow out better. But for refinishing, silicone is the finisher's nightmare. And for uh, pledge is the one that's got the silicone in it. And, uh, it, it, it also deteriorate, deteriorates the finish that's there. Um, if, if nothing else, if everybody could please pass that around. <laughs> I, think, I think one of the biggest problems that people have is they, they overdo polishing, you know? It's, and you can, you can clean your piano with a chamois and you're, you're not gonna change it. But if you put polish, put coats of polish on it, you're gonna build it up until it's a gummy, you know, if like if you were to use something like this on a, on a newer piano, every two months, you're, you're gonna end up with, 